Hello everybody, I'm Evil Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa in my M4 competition car here at Laguna Seca because I've been getting a lot of comments recently asking um, how I got my neck effects to look the way I do, my wheel settings in Pit House app as well as in game. And I'm gonna go through all of that here today in today's episode. And I've been having a lot of fun recently. Ooh, little dirt drop. Driving on, drifting on racetracks rather than just um, you know, the BDC tracks, the tracks that are all on these online servers. Been having a lot of fun going um, out onto all these tracks that I do GT3 racing in and seeing if I can uh, kind of run them in a full uh, full drift spec, kind of like a grid lifestyle driving. And this M4 just rips. So we're going to get into all my settings for like my neck effect and how I have my, uh, you know, in-car settings the way I have it so that I can get the way I have it pivoting and stuff like that because a lot of people have been asking what my neck effect settings are with the way it's tilting and everything. So we're going to get fully into that today as well as I'm going to go through my... This car might be too low for this. Bottomed down a little bit. Into my pit house settings for drifting as well as my in-game settings here for my wheel settings for what I'm running here in, you know, 2024 compared to where I was running back last year and everything like that. Because I have found that I like the way I have them. I want to be in second. Now they're a little bit smoother, but they do kind of get a little bit. Uh, the wheel kind of twitches a little bit in some of the higher power cars, but street cars, these settings are awesome. Let's see if we can do this. Oh boy. Yep, nope, too much send. <laughs> so let's uh, sit back and enjoy this in its uh, cinematic style view right now, that M4, definitely one of my favorite cars that I've built and driven. Gotta revamp this thing a little bit and maybe uh, bring this thing back out because this car is so much fun. I know a lot of people still have it, a lot of people still drive it, and they say it is a lot of fun to drive. Definitely put a lot of work into this car. Let's switch back now. Those rotiforms going round and round. Wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to drift that in fifth. But like I said, we're gonna go through my pit house settings for my wheel settings, my in-game settings, and of course my neck effects, because a lot of people have been asking about my neck effect settings in the recent, you know, shorts and stuff I've been posting and everything like that. It's been a busy beginning of the year for me with a lot of things going on. So finally getting a little bit of time to dial back in on the sim and uh get a little more work going here on the channel with uh some shorts and some full length videos and stuff like that for you guys because like i said it's been a beginning of a very busy year for me got a lot of things planned a lot of things coming so hope you guys are sticking around and enjoying this so once we get through that was actually really nice i think we kind of floated this too much <laughs> we uh tried to do a little backy so let's go take a look at my neck effect settings first so we're gonna go straight into neck effect we're gonna go through all of this you guys can obviously pause the video and take a look at everything because we want to make sure we give you all of my settings that i have so Basically, you can see all the blue markers are things that I've pretty much adapted and adjusted. My effect gain at 25% is kind of something that I found works really well. My velocity is at 79, uh, invert tilt, steering, and then of course you have some tilt, uh, tilt split, 15%. You know, you can go through all of this and screen grab this if you want to go full through. But you see I have my look ahead threshold changed. Uh, my look angle threshold has been changed, the distance threshold. So all these blue ones are major changes that I've made from the factory neck effect settings that is there. So you guys can see where the main things I have are my effect gain and my velocity. These two are probably the most important things that I've changed, which give me that effect that I have with my steering wheel input as well as kind of apex look and things like that. So this is what we're running for neck effects. Now, when it comes to our wheel settings, we are running for our wheel settings and our force feedback. So 
in a set of Corsa in the game, we're running 80% gain. Now I'm running my Moza R12, so that can be changed slightly if you want. I left the curb effect, road effect, and slip effect, as well as ABS effect back from factory. I left it at 25, 10, and 10. Now some people like to turn that off. I like to leave them on because it gives a little bit of a more of a feel that I'm getting in game rather than my wheel. I know some people say that this is artificial feel and you should just use the wheel thing. Well, this is what I find that I like and what I'm running right now. Now, I have my central boost at zero, my center boost gain at six, and then, of course, lowest uh, low speed force feedback at 1% and threshold at seven kilometers an hour. So this is my in-game settings for my wheel settings. Now, the main thing that I know a lot of people are trying to figure out is my pit house settings. So this is my basic pit house settings and how I have it set up for current. Um, so if you notice, I do have a preset saved one. So I run 900 degrees. I should run 1080, but I'm running 900 right now. Uh, my road sensitivity is at 10. My in-game force feedback uh, is at 60. Now that's, I'm running the R12. Uh, currently so that can adjust higher if you're running say an r5 or an r9 or down a little bit more if you're running like an r21 or an r16 uh, that is going to be a little bit dependent on uh, how uh, powerful your wheelbase is the higher you go the steppier it gets like it'll do it's kind of like a too much of a step rotation rather than just a smooth you know rotation which is what you're looking for so my max wheel speed uh, wheel spin speed is at 100 percent we have the spring strength off wheel dampener I have set to 65. Now that's, for me personally, kind of helps with the stutter step. I want a little bit of dampening when it goes around and stuff like that. So that's why I'm running a little bit of wheel dampening. And when we go into the advanced, I do have my maximum output torque limit at 100%. I don't run hands-off protection because if you do and you let it go, it's going to stop rotating. You don't want hands-off protection turned on with drifting at all um my natural inertia is set to 150 i turned all wheel friction speed dependent and everything is turned off so that is what i found works quite well with the wheel i'm running and my setup and all the cars that are running now this does feel really good on a street car which i'm gonna pull a street car in next and drive it so you guys can kind of see that um i've left this flat planed um, some people like to mess with this, different things. I found that the feedback is quite good, uh, flat planed. Um, and then the curve obviously is linear and then miscellaneous, we don't have anything to do with, but the main things are your inertia and your friction load. And of course your wheel spin speed and all of that. So I'm going to go get in a street car and show you guys that on a non-aggressive comp car, the wheel rotation is really smooth and it feels super nice. So let's go grab into one of those. All right, so now that we are in the BDC cars, we're going to try and get right into this tandems here. Probably going to get a lot of smoke those guys are hitting each other. But if you notice the wheel rotation, oh, as we just door dive that guy really hard. The wheel rotation in these cars, you notice how it's much smoother than when I was running in that. Oh man, I'm getting bumped from behind in my comp car. So this and wheel settings work really well in some street tune cars, especially these BDC cars. I kind of just let the wheel go and it kind of floats where I wanted to. Like I, I thought I was going to smack into him. I don't know what's going on with this, guys. Oh, so I hope this guys, I hope this video helped you guys in figuring out some settings, maybe getting some neck effects. Oh God, don't look away. Some neck effect and stuff because I definitely, ow, <laughs> problem with online servers. I really like the way my neck effect rotates around inside the car. It's nice and smooth and it kind of looks where I want it to look. Since I'm running one single 34 inch ultra wide, it makes it real nice to, uh, that guy only be running on one monitor instead of triples. I can barely hear my own car. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps. And I hope you guys come back for more episodes here on the channel. I appreciate all the support and everything like that. Like I said, been a very busy beginning of the year. So getting full back into the swing of things now. 
get getting into the later months. Oh, I got dead. Oh, and I got dead. <laughs> so make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All that you found in the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track. <laughs>